Good morning, it's Dr. James. Hey, I hope you're off to a beautiful start today. It's so good to see you. Thank you for your time and thank you for your energy. And this morning, I want to do something for you because you are sacred. You are sacred to me. And um, it's easy for me to get emotional when I think about what we do every single morning. And I got very emotional last week when I was reading the comments of the um, message that I put together in front of my refrigerator. You probably remember it if you watched. Um, I was talking about the power of how it is that the foods that we're consuming, particularly vegetables and fruits, and its relationship to mental health. And literally, we have over 3,000 views, and it's growing by the hundreds every single day. People are sharing it across the world. So what, what we know is that mental health, emotional well-being, stress, depression, anxiety, they are at an all-time high today. So I want to put together a little bit more information for you because I love you. I see your sacred nature, I see your gold, and I want you to see it too. So I put together some things that are based on some pretty amazing, pretty sobering, but hopefully really empowering opportunities for you and I to consider. The ROI, the return on intention, the return on ingestion, the return on what we're putting in our food mindfully and how we're putting in our bodies. Okay, so this is pretty awesome in relationship to neurochemistry and what produces anxiety, what, what may produce more sadness, and what we can do today to mindfully look at each and every meal as an opportunity for medicine. Mind, body, spirit, emotional medicine that you can put in your body with conviction, with a commitment, with a level of consciousness, and a level of love. Let's use food in relationship to loving ourselves well. Okay, so this is interesting. Now, number one out of the gate, listen, I love a very good cup of coffee every single day, but I have one cup of coffee. I, I read a study that said that over caffeination, whether it be too many cups of coffee, uh, soft drinks, uh, too much tea with caffeine, energy drinks, uh, and <laughs> guess how I feel about energy drinks. Um, anytime we're over caffeinating ourselves, we're lowering serotonin. When we lower serotonin, we're, we're lowering our opportunity for happiness and calm and centeredness. So be conscious of caffeination. Number two, anytime that we are over sugaring ourselves, increasing the sugar content, added sugar, uh, just junk food in general, we are leaning into a punch. There's a direct relationship with processed foods and sugar and depression and anxiety and emotional unwell-being. So you know what? It also increases cortisol, the stress hormone. It, it is a disaster waiting to happen. So be mindful of the sugar. Number three, this is interesting. I, 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 have, a, I have a very uh, deep connection with alcohol. My, my family goes back generations with alcoholism, so I, I don't drink. And every now and then I'll have a good glass of wine, but I never have more than one. I haven't had more than one glass of wine in over 30 years, and I never drink hard alcohol. I don't drink beer. I just don't do it. So over alcohol decreases serotonin, but in relationship, two or more cups of wine or glasses of wine, cups of wine, that's interesting, actually decreases serotonin as well. So be careful at night, because if you're lowering your serotonin at nighttime, you're gonna actually lower your ability to have that serotonin translate into melatonin. So it's gonna directly affect the impact of your sleep and whether or not you get a good night's sleep. Interesting on top of that, if you have fried food in your diet daily, you increase your chances, chances for depression by nearly 60%. Fried food has a direct relationship to depression. Eating floured foods, processed foods with, with flour, also um, increase, uh, increases your levels of depression risk. And skipping breakfast, missing breakfast. So this is an opportunity for us to consider how we use food. And whether or not, before we open the refrigerator door, before we open our cabinets, ask ourselves a simple question. What would love do now? And how would I nourish love right now? And then open that refrigerator door with a level of love and compassion and conviction that says I'm gonna love out loud and I'm feeding my chemistry of possibility. So with that, eat well. I love you, I believe in you and your sacred nature. Have a beautiful day, bye for now.